So, I had actually forgotten about this thing. <laughs> I knew they were sending it, but I had forgotten about it. This is the uh, drill kit that fits the uh, G255, which also means it fits uh, MS250 and 025 uh, stills. So, uh, anyway, I already took it out of the package, but I haven't opened up these packages. So that appears to fit the cog and the saw. And then these splines fit the splines inside of here. Very low gearing. It's probably what you need for a drill. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a drill bit. Auger, I can tell that. Let's see what size it is. Looks like it's a 12 millimeter, comes with it. And it does not come with the uh, chuck already attached, so. This, of course, would be a non reversible drill, so <laughs> that may make it fun to get out of a, uh, a big log if you drill a hole in it. a chuck key. You know there really should be something that the chuck key snaps into on here to store it on the uh, saw. Oh well, there's not. But <clears throat> let's stick this puppy on here and see what it looks like. Well I've seen pictures of it. I know what it looks, what it looks like. They actually look kind of ridiculous on a saw, but we will also test its function. That's just not going to happen today. Uh, it will happen in the same video, but it's uh, already pretty late, it's starting to get dark outside, so I'll have to do that tomorrow. In the snow, we had snow snowmageddon 2019. We're supposed to get more, uh, I think tonight, tomorrow night, like five more inches more. Got a little dirty. I didn't get to clean them up after the last use. All right, so let's grab the paper towels. I'm gonna wipe some of the sawdust and oil out of here, at least. There was a fellow that asked on the uh, comments the other day where the two little black things went that came with the uh, little black plastic bumpers that come with the uh, 660. They're the same thing as this, it's just on it, it go, they snap on to the cover here. Uh, and there's one above and one below. I, I don't know if, he seemed like he was having troubles and I don't know if he ever got it solved or not, but I'm hoping if he sees this one, it'll help. Uh, and for those of you that are asking me to do a uh, collection video, uh, I do intend to do that. Um, however, the next collection video is just going to be the saws that I have that run, which is still over half of my collection. Um, and. Uh, I'm going to try to do it outside where I can start each one and actually let you see it run or cut maybe even. Um, so it may be a little while. We're going to have to wait for the snow to melt and that's not happening for a couple weeks. But I am going to do it just to let you know. Okay. So let's get this thing on. I'm going to assume that this needs to be put on there first and you're going to have to take that little outside washer off. Ah, and then put it back on. 
and snap it all together. Okay, let me grab one of those pliers. And I've got to get that little uh, ring off of there. These are always fun, especially when there's a washer behind them. Small screwdriver. There we go. That's the way to do that. Okay, so that comes off. This thing came with absolutely no instructions. I'm betting that that washer goes right back in there. Yep. And then the C-ring goes back on. Which might be a bit of a challenge down in that hole. That's where these ring where these pliers come in. Oop, had it for a second. There we go. So that's on there. And this dude well you cannot turn that drill bit to get that to line up so you're gonna have to guess ah that's what you do you reach up under here Ah, and the tensioner has to be in just the right place, which it is not at the moment. The tensioner needs to be directly below the tensioner screw by the hole pattern there. drill saw. <laughs> Looks like a half inch collet. Chuck, whatever you're going to call it, Jacob's Chuck. Well, that's unscrewing it. feels pretty good and solid. I am just too curious because uh, I won't get to try this out until tomorrow. I'm going to start it up. I want to see how fast it actually turns. I'm going to do this in the shop, which I don't normally do, so bear with me. That, this hasn't been started in about a week. left in this thing. Nope. Ran it bone dry last time I used it. Alright. Gonna have to get some gas in it. Okay, so I've decided that uh, since I was gonna start the thing up inside and see how fast it spins, I might as well drill a hole with it inside. And so, again, I will be done in the shop for the day. <laughs> Hope shot cap, shop cat doesn't mind too much.
issue right there. Gets in there, you can't reverse it, so you can't reverse, you can't get the auger out. Nice! Now I got the damn thing stuck. Easy way to do that. Well, it's enough I can't get it out of here with this guy either. That's a full battery too. Okay, so maybe it's my lock, but really, you should be able to drill into anything you want with it. Part of that is the log. Let's try something different. Let's see what it does with a two inch Forzner bit. And I'll forewarn you, this is not the sharpest bit in the world, but it's all a new trick for testing.
So the other part is, is that if you've got oil in the uh, thing, it's going to drip all over the place because this actually stands off the saw just a touch uh, everywhere except for at the bolts. So I've actually still got uh, chain oil in this thing, so it's kind of dribbling a little bit because there's no place for it to go. But, well, so yeah, I, I still don't like the fact that you can't reverse out of a drilled hole, but on a bit where your cutting tip is smaller than the rest of the shaft, looks like it works pretty good to me. In fact, it works really good. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta air out the shop. Thanks for watching.